Welcome to Catamount Football with Coach Matt Land. I'm Bill Mayo, your host. And on this week's show, we're going to take a look back at Friday night game versus the Cass Colonels and also talk about this week's upcoming game with Sequoia. So stay right here back with more Catamount Football after these messages. Got car problems? That's no problem for Transformers Transmission Specialists. Bring your foreigner domestic vehicle into Transformers and have our certified master technicians perform the most comprehensive diagnostics over any other shop. Transformers utilizes the latest technology, so you can rest assured that you get the proper diagnosis the first time, so only necessary repairs are made. Save time and money on all your brake, AC, tune-up, and transmission needs. All backed by the best warranty in the business. Transformers Transmission Specialists. When is the last time you have compared your car, life, or health insurance costs? At Advanced Insurance Strategies, we know your time is valuable. Therefore, we have developed AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. You can now go online anytime, anywhere, and get quick and easy quotes for your car, life, or health insurance from respected companies such as Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia, Assurant Health, Alliant Health Plans, and Drive Insurance from Progressive. Receive unparalleled customer service from a local insurance agency while using AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. All right, Coach Land, let's talk a little bit about the cast game Friday night. Um, I don't know, just an, it was an interesting <laughs> game. I, it, 35 to nothing, great for to get a shutout defensively, but just in the first half was a little bit, uh, I don't know, disjointed. I don't know what the right word to, what right word to use is. Uh, well, that's a good, that's a good <laughs> place to start, disjointed. I, you know, you look back at, <clears throat> at the first three series, uh, and, and if you looked at each series independent, uh, you feel good about it. I mean, you kind of watch it and you go, well, that's a good drive. We moved the ball well. We're, we're, we're balance is there. But, you know, take it down and score on the first drive and your hopes go here uh, and then, you know, shoot ourselves in the foot the next couple of times. All right. And uh, But, you know, thankfully, uh, the kids responded at halftime. We made some adjustments. Obviously, we felt like we went out 14 and nothing, but really felt like we were a little better than that. And uh, the kids responded, came back out, and, and I thought they played a great second half. Absolutely. I and I think you're right. You kind of went in at halftime, and everybody liked to be up 14 to nothing. But you just feel like definitely not satisfied with the yeah. first half of football. And but I think the second half was was definitely much better, and and uh, uh, kids really responded and played well uh, with some of the things that I don't know. I guess adjustments are the right word for offensively. They were, Cass was doing some things to us de defensively that that um, were very. Interesting, I guess, and, yeah, well, and, and, it, and it gave us some problems for a I little bit. I think it's a great point, and, and I, I forget who said it after the game. You know, this is the third straight game that we've seen something unique yeah. to try to stop what we're doing offensively. Right. And, you know, you talk about how those things can help you down the road. There, there's no doubt last week from North Atlanta, we, we took some that – that may be one of the best defensive lines we played. Absolutely. Forget the score, yep. forget the team, just the defensive line. Right. Well, same thing this week. I mean, you know, they, they had a couple of guys that really created some problems. Mm -hmm. They were very athletic. They had great team speed. So you couldn't just block them. You had to block and stay on your block. You had to drive your block. And our linemen did a great job doing that. But when you drive – I was looking back at one. Andrew Williams drives a guy, you know, five, six yards. 
well, here comes a guy filling the hole right behind him, right. you know, because you're thinking you're going to drive into those guys. So to me, this is one of those games that, you know, 35 to nothing, obviously. Very thankful, great game. We're happy with that. I think what we take from this, though, is more valuable than just the win, the opportunity to, to have the experience, and I think for our kids to have the experience. Yes, being able to make the adjustments and, and uh, changes, in whether it's a blocking scheme, routes by the receivers, whatever, whatever, the, whatever the adjustments that need to be made on the sidelines and at halftime, the guys being able to respond and, and, and put those into play, oh, yeah. uh, that, that's good to see. I mean, that, that's, and that's what you have to be able to do yep. to continue to win games. Well, and then to speak defensively, you're talking about until the last drive, uh, we had held them to under 100 total yards. Uh, and that, that, that was my fear going in. They had probably three guys, and anybody that came to the game, and you'll see here on the highlight, they had three guys that could go the distance at any time. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of the way our defense kept those guys in check. I was very proud of the way our defensive coaches, you know, Wednesday they kind of simplified the game plan. It, it, you know, it just seemed like we, we, were, we had a couple of layers that had built over week. And Coach Carpenter came in and said, hey, let's, let's just do, let's do these things right here. And if we do these, we're not going to probably expose or go into these other things that we can do defensively. And I, and I always, I mean, you know, we talk about that a lot in staff. Keep it simple, stupid, right. though, kiss rule. And I think the defense benefited from that, just basically letting them be athletes because that's what they had. And it's basically just mano a mano. You beat up, you, know, you line up and beat the guy in front of you. Kicking game-wise, Isai's turned into a, a, Un amazing. a, a, a weapon. I mean, he's putting the ball in the end zone consistently. And that's such a huge advantage. I don't know if Pepe advantage. ever did that uh, that yeah. many times in a game. Right. I mean, he had five kicks inside the goal line. So, I mean, that's, that, that is something special. And, I mean, I, and, you know, Edder's consistent. Our snapping has been, I mean, really been good, uh, considering that we're, we're still trying to kind of find our way there. I mean, we got a new starter with Matthew Howe doing that. Right. Uh, and Tyler Brent did a good job of holding. Five for five on extra points? Five for five on extra points, and that always makes me feel better. I, I know for you, working with the kickers. It <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it, you know, that's, that's been the strength of Dalton the last four or yeah. five years is our ability to have a specialist in every area. Kiko just works on field goals, and that, that's, that's a tremendous um, asset to have when you have all that time to just focus on that. Isai, he just kicks off. Edder just punts. Now, they can all fill in for the other, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it's great to see those guys really working on their craft and getting better at it. Very good. Well, let's take a quick break. We'll be back with more Cat and Mouth Football in just a minute. You asked for more HD channels and Optilink delivered. Check out hit series and current movies on MAV TV, FXX, and Universal. Like reality and nature shows, try Discovery and TLC. For music lovers, we added Great American Country and Access TV. And for the kids, we added HD versions of Animal Planet, Disney Channel, and National Geographic. And when you need to unwind, try Escapes TV. For more details, go to Optilink.us. Have you ever heard the term, your eyes are your expressions, the windows to your soul? But when your eyelids look tired and they start to sag, it will make you look much older than you actually are. There is a simple surgical procedure called a blepharoplasty or eyelid tuck, which can help to rejuvenate and redefine the contours around your eyelids. It will even improve your fields of vision and a portion may even be covered by insurance. We can help redefine how others see you. Welcome back to Catamount Football. We've got our player interview segment. Guys, welcome to the show. Introduce yourselves, please. Thank you. I'm Charlie Martin. I'm a senior, number 12, defensive back. I'm Jake Myers. I'm number 88, play defensive end. I'm a junior. All right, Charlie, let's start with you. <clears throat> Tell me about uh, uh, your role on the team this year. Uh, well, I'm playing cornerback, so basically just don't let anybody get behind you. Don't get burned. Kind of That position, I mean, you're kind of out there on an island by yourself. Um, Talk about that a little bit. There's a lot of, obviously, a lot of responsibility out there. There's a lot of responsibility, but you got to enjoy the challenge. So that's what makes it so exciting, I feel like. What's the, what, what do you think the biggest challenge is playing that position? Uh, just knowing the guy in front of you, really, and knowing your uh, job, depending on what coverage you're in, cover two, cover three, just being able to react to the ball. I think one of the things I always talk to defensive backs about, <clears throat> I mean, you guys work together as a unit, kind of like the offensive line, and communication is very important. Offensive linemen are communicating in about a, a seven or eight yard area. You guys are communicating across 50 yards. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you how do you get the make sure everybody's on the same page and get those get those signals and get those checks 
spread all the way across the defense. Well, you just got to make sure the guys that are closest to our sideline are echoing those calls because without that, you're not getting all the way across the field and not getting anything done. And somebody's running free, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> Tell me a little bit about the game Friday night. Uh, awesome shout out by the defense. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's definitely a, a full uh, team effort to get one of those. That they're, not, they're not easy to come by. Yes, sir. We played great. Our defensive line and linebackers, they did a great job of stopping the run and making them throw the ball. And then when they did throw the ball, uh, the secondary as a unit did a great job of shutting it down. How about goals for yourself and goals for the team this year? You're a senior and kind of last go round. Yes, sir. I just put forth the best effort this year. Last hoorah, so give it your all. Right. See how far we can go. What about advice to, to uh, any young defensive backs coming up? Y young. Dalton Park's rec guy, middle school guys, young guys on the high school team. Just enjoy it while it lasts because it goes by pretty fast. It really does, doesn't it? Yes, It's sir. hard to believe that uh, four years ago and you're a senior, right? Yes, sir. Well, right, thanks for coming on the show. You did a great job. Good luck with the rest of the season. All right, thank you. All right, Jake, let's talk to you. Tell me now, <clears throat> you've been playing some varsity football this year, First, kind of the first uh, action of that. How, how has that been for you the first three or four games? Um, it's been a lot of fun just, you know, just doing what Coach Carpenter tells us to do and, you know, just executing what – you know, his plans are for us, and yeah, it's been fun. What, what's the biggest adjustment you have to make going from freshman and JV football for the last couple of years, and now all of a sudden you're playing on Friday nights? What, what, what do you notice most different? Well, I guess the big difference is um, just the skill of the offensive line that we're lining up against and how you really have to do exactly what your job is and, you know, to tie up blockers for the linebackers to get the tackles. Um, i say that's the biggest difference, just, you know, having to – exactly do your job per, you know, precise. Right. So, yeah. Kind of go over your responsibilities at, at, your, at your position. Well, just to uh, squeeze down and you know, keep outside control. When you say squeeze down, explain to somebody watching that maybe doesn't know much oh. about football what that well, means, what squeeze down means. Whenever the, um, the tackle goes inside of me, I've got to you know, push him down inside so that he doesn't get to the linebacker, frees up the linebacker to get, get some tackles. So. How about the game Friday night for you? Talk about it a little bit. Maybe some of the things that went on during the game, some of the plays you made. Um, I mean, just you know, just what Coach Carpenter told, tells us to do, and you know, like he, whatever he tells us to do, just kind of brings us to the ball. Yeah. And um, you know, talk about getting a shutout. That had to be. I know that that, that was exciting for you guys, and and uh, that's certainly one of the goals that you have every week, and it. It's great to fulfill that goal. Talk about what goes into to getting a shutout as a defense. Um, just following the uh, game plan and you know, really shutting down the inside run mm -hmm. and the zero hole for them. And um, you know, it just takes a whole team effort. You right. know, just execution. so you've run into some pretty big offensive linemen so far. So, you're not you're not the biggest guy in the world out there. So, so how do you battle the, the those big guys when you um, get your, when you get get uh, one you're matched up against? Well, you just got to, you know, shoot your hands and, yeah. you know, work off of that and just try your hardest to try to get under his pants. constrict the gap, yes, sir. And um, you know, I've gotten a lot of practice with that with Andrew and Hicks. <laughs> Big guys to battle every yes, day, right? Yes, sir. All right, well, y'all do a great job. Thanks for coming on the show. Stay right here back with more player interviews after these messages. like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Get one-on-one -on -one training from former professional and collegiate players featuring indoor baseball and softball training facilities, ground ball area, three pitching mounds, and four batting cages. Performance Sports Academy is also available for team rentals. Call 706-537-3169 today and train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Okay, here's your problem. Uh, we're going to have to make a replacement. Here is your prescription. Call Carpet Express immediately. Saw. Hammer. Perfect. Another successful replacement by Carpet Express. Welcome back to Catamount Football. We've got the second half of our player interviews. Guys, welcome to the show. Introduce yourselves, please. Uh, I'm Peter Sigmund. I'm a wide receiver. I'm number 13. I'm a senior. I'm Frankie Calderon, number 80, wide receiver and a senior. 
All right, Frankie, let's start with you. Tell me about tell me about being a senior this year and kind of your view on on uh, how fast you get there. It's, it's really exciting, you know. It goes by really fast. Yeah. You know. But the memories you make with your teammates, you know, that's what you're going to remember. Right, right. So how about how about uh, uh, your thoughts on on the game Friday night and kind of what transpired out there? Yeah. It was it was really exciting, you know. I got to be a captain. Yeah. You know? And we got a shutdown. Yeah. Describe that. Describe the feeling of being a captain, walking out there for the coin toss. That's a, that's that's always a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it was really intense, you know, shaking the. How do you call it? The, the officials. Yeah, the officials' hands and the enemy's an, hands too. Right. Know. I like that description. I like that shaking the enemy's hands. I like that right before the game. That's good. T talk about your job as a wide receiver. I mean, what what are some of the things? You know, we, we've never. Um, been one of these teams that's going to throw it 40 or 50 times a game. So, you, so a big part of y'all's job is blocking. Talk about that that part of your job. Blocking, you know, it just you got to block the corner or the safety when it comes down to it, mm -hmm. and so that the running back can get through. Yeah, usually yeah. if they make a long run, you guys you guys have made a good block down the field, right? Yes, sir. Now you got a you got a younger brother on the team. Not a little brother, a younger yeah. brother, right? Yes, sir. Talk about how how is it having him out there and as part of the program with you as a senior? It's it makes him more more memorable having a, my little brother as a freshman. You know, even though he's bigger. <laughs> but, you know, I, Ivan is what he's probably six. Oh gosh, six, six two, one. six three, yeah, two hundred and fifty pounds or something yes, like sir. that. He's a, he's yeah. a big guy. Yeah, we. They fed him more beans than me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good. Thanks for coming on the show, and good luck with the rest of the season. All right, Peter, let's talk to you. Tell me about uh, being a senior this year and kind of goals for yourself and goals for the team. Um, it's really exciting. One thing that we want to do is uh, lead the team the right way so that we'll be able to win as many games All right. down the road. Friday night had a couple of big catches. The week before you had a couple of big catches. Talk, talk about the passing game and kind of how that's starting to develop. I think we're throwing the ball more. Uh, clearly, if you come to games, you see throwing the ball a lot more than we than we have in the past. Talk about that aspect a little bit. Um, well, this year, kind of a surprise that we're throwing the ball more. But uh, we've been working on it all summer and uh, working on all our routes and all our schemes and all that. But uh, compared to last year, we are throwing it a lot more. and. I think it takes a lot of pressure off our running game because mm -hmm. it forces defense to uh, to cover us and just know that we're a potential threat, not just blocking. Yeah. How about the, the the blocking aspect of your game? Uh, Frankie talked about it, but you talk about it too because that's something. Anytime Calvis or Tyler or, or Kyrick, one of the guys, makes a long run, uh, usually you guys are down there. And you've got a hand in it. You, you you're in a you're on a safety. You're on a corner or something. Kind of, kind of go through <clears throat> that part of the of your responsibilities. Um, well, we start off and we decide based on the play whether you block the uh, either the outside linebacker, the corner, or the safety, and uh, based on your position. Then we have to through practice we've learned which leverage to get, which one's best for each running back. So inside leverage or outside the leverage, Kelvis usually likes us to block him in to everybody else so he can pop to outside, get long runs. But uh, it it works well with the linemen too because it, once everyone gets their blocks, it mm -hmm. just comes down to us and usually, and hopefully we can get that block and right. spring him loose. Scored a couple of touchdowns already this year. Talk about that part of it. That, that, I know that's a lot of fun. That's exciting to, yeah, it's, to get in the end zone. It's really exciting. Uh, last year, I think I had a couple of touchdowns, but this year I'm already at that. But it's also, Exciting that there's other players, and it's not right. just me scoring. It's uh, Zeke. Zeke has a couple touchdowns. Tyler Nolan. So we're spreading the ball too. So it's not just one person scoring. We were even having hundred-yard wide receivers. That's <laughs> that's pretty exciting for us, right? Yeah, that's something new. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. Thanks for coming on, and good luck with the rest of the season. We're certainly watching, see how the game with Sequoia goes this week. Sir. So right here, back with more Catamount football in just a minute. I can't believe it's football time again here in Northwest Georgia. The Oakwood Cafe and my family are big fans of football, 
much like most of our customers. But this year, instead of just rooting for our teams, we are also rooting for your team. So bring your ticket stub out to the Oakwood Cafe on Saturday night, and you will receive a discount based on your team's margin of victory. If your team wins by 50 points, you will receive 50% off. So good luck, and come on out to the Oakwood Cafe on Saturday night. Go, Go Big Red! Red. Go, Go Honesty, integrity, and hard work, leadership, quality, and value. Just a few words to describe the company and people that make up Shaw Industries. Shaw Industries, the world's leading carpet manufacturer, is proud to be a sponsor of Dalton Catamount Football. Shaw Industries, where great floors begin. Families are the heart of our region. That is why Hamilton is here. Hamilton Medical Center's Turner Maternal and Infant Care Center provides expert care with the comfort of home-like rooms and amenities, with on-site neonatologists and a level three neonatal intensive care unit where parents can stay overnight with their new baby if a NICU stay is needed. We're here for you. Hamilton Medical Center, your health is our mission. Welcome back to Catamount Football. We've got our coaches segment. Coach Thompson, welcome to the show. Nice. Thanks for having me. All right. Talk. <clears throat> One of your responsibilities with the football team is is uh, strength and conditioning. Yes, sir. And and I think anybody that's watched the team the last couple of years has really seen the transformation of the guys. And uh, with all the work that you do with them in the summer and, and during the course of the season and during the course of the school year, kind of go through, explain to people the the an overview of the program of, of what you have the guys do and what all is involved because it's a tremendous amount of work for you and for the kids. Well, uh, first of all, we are, we're always learning. You know, if you ever think you know it all, you're, you're, you're falling behind. We go out and uh, we go to clinics. We go see different, different teams to learn, see what other people are doing, colleges. Then we set up a program for, it's really three phases. As soon as we come back from, uh, from Christmas break, we'll start off with the first phase. It's mostly the strength phase, building. Uh, we do a, a, week, a week of nothing but technique to make sure we got the proper form. And then we build into it and we go into it anywhere from an eight to 12 week cycle and we will uh, lift and uh, really get after it. And then after that, the second phase, we're slowly building into spring practice. By doing that, we start implementing bands, uh, uh, resistance runs, different things like that, plyometrics. And uh, after, after spring, uh, spring football, we get into, and during that time, the first phase, we don't run much. Second phase, we run uh, two or three days a week. We put them on chip meters and different things. And then uh, the th after that, the third phase, it is running every day. Uh, we go into, uh, go into the summer, we work out three days a week and run three days a week. In July, we uh, work out four days a week and, and run four, and we really put it, put it to them. Uh, the kids are, have bought into it. You know, you always say, oh, there go, people are not going to do that. Uh, but they have bought into it, and uh, you can see from the, the change of where they are from freshman to senior years, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I think one of the guys that, that just stands out in my mind on the team right now is Chipper Elrod. Chipper. I mean, yes, what a transformation, right? It is, it is unbelievable. I have a picture of him that uh, he sent me as a freshman, a uh, scrawny uh, uh, freshman. Probably didn't weigh 100, 125, 130 pounds. Ratty little freshman like I like to call I know, him. I know, a ratty little <laughs> freshman. And now he's, uh, he's a uh, just walking. You can see him. He is uh, uh, turned into a, a good athlete, a good athlete in a sense of how he looks, how he performs. And, and you know, it's not, it's not just the muscle you put on them. I mean, they got to have flexibility. Uh, flexibility, they got to have, they gotta have the, the, the strength. Uh, in our program, we want to get stronger, but we want to prevent injuries. Right. We want to prevent injuries, and we, it, it's a mental, physical, and emotional uh, uh, workout we put them through. Because uh, you, you talk about the emotional aspect, they have to be able to, there's going to be hard times, and we want to put them in a, in a position uh, in the weight room where when they get into the football field, they, are, they, are, they know they can get through it. They, it's easy when they get on the field. Well, uh, and, I, and I think one of the things, that I think you guys do such a good job of is they translate what's going on in the weight room and, and in the uh, agility drills onto the football field. Oh, definitely. I mean, you, you can have a guy that just lifts, 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 and, and he doesn't carry it over the football field. It seems like a lot of the lifts and things that you, that you guys are doing with them 
translate right into football? Everything we do, everything we do is position oriented. And, uh, well, excuse me, we'll start off uh, once again the first in the, in the first cycle, really not the second cycle. It's 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 all all general workout. But when we get into summer, it is uh, position specific workouts, drills that that uh, will help them on the field. Uh, you know, it's simple simple things like when, when we when we condition in the summer, the linemen don't need to be conditioned like the skill guys. I mean, just don't need to do it. Right. We have a, a one to three ratio. We're not going to condition our athletes like a soccer player, Coach Chiefs. They'll run for 45 minutes before they start practice. A football player doesn't need to do that. You know, they're, they're, they, need to, they need to be able to have anywhere from five to ten second burst, and that's how we train them. All right. So you've got, that, you've got that, which is a major responsibility. Then you also coach the defensive backs. Kind of, kind of talk about that too. That's almost, I mean, that's two full-time jobs. It, it, it is. It takes it takes a lot of time. Our kids in the weight room. Going back to that, they uh, they're there 45 minutes before school starts every day, and then they they go into some of them are there earlier than that because they got they don't have first period weight training. We have a great administration that puts them in the weight room first period so we're together. But then again, going into the defensive backs. Uh, you know, it's, that's what I played in high school and college, and it's a, just an absolute joy to work with the people, and especially when you have defensive backs that, that want to be there and uh, want to get better. I feel like the defensive backs, and you may disagree, are the best athletes on the field, okay, because they have to be able to Either cover. That the offensive line. Uh, that's what I, wa I was waiting on that. Uh, they got to be able to cover the run. They got to be able to uh, cover the pass. They got to be able to do all different things. They've and, also got to be smart. That, that's the other piece of yes. it. Yes. They've got in the, the communication aspect of. Getting that, getting those yes. checks across 50 full yards of, is is such an important factor. Oh, it is, it is. It, it's hard, you know. You play in, a, you pay, play in big games like we do, and it's a crowd's roaring. You, uh, well, you got to be able to communicate. But by doing that, we have three coaches. We have Coach Carpenter at one position, uh, uh, signaling plays in. Coach Lands helping, work, looking at one side, and I'm up down about 30 yards, communicating to the other side. So, you know, the way offensives go now, they have to be able to look. They have to. They look to the sideline, so our defense looks to the sideline to us. And you know, it's they got to communicate. Very good. Before we, before we wrap up here, update on your family. They're growing up. They're growing up fast. I've uh, my wife of uh, uh, 13 years, Tiffany Thompson, is a teacher at Brookwood Elementary. Uh, have a 10-year-old Taylor Thompson, uh, eight-year-old Jamie Thompson, and uh, a little rugrat Clayton. Clayton Thompson is five. Uh, they love, they love the wins on Fridays, get on that bus and saying we are the Catamounts. <laughs> very good. Well, thanks for everything you do. Certainly appreciate all your efforts for the team and uh, glad you came on the show. Thank you very much for having me. Stay right here. We'll be back with more Catamount football after these messages. Got car problems? That's no problem for Transformers Transmission Specialists. Bring your foreigner domestic vehicle into Transformers and have our certified master technicians perform the most comprehensive diagnostics over any other shop. Transformers utilizes the latest technology so you can rest assured that you get the proper diagnosis the first time so only necessary repairs are made. Save time and money on all your brake, AC, tune-up, and transmission needs. All backed by the best warranty in the business. Transformers Transmission Specialists. When is the last time you have compared your car, life, or health insurance costs? At Advanced Insurance Strategies, we know your time is valuable. Therefore, we have developed AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. You can now go online anytime, anywhere, and get quick and easy quotes for your car, life, or health insurance from respected companies such as Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia, Assurant Health, Alliant Health Plans, and Drive Insurance from Progressive. Receive unparalleled customer service from a local insurance agency while using AdvancedInsuranceStrategies.com. Well, Coach, we've come to the highlight time, our favorite part of the absolutely. show here. Absolutely, absolutely. See what uh, Brandon filmed for us on Friday night. Just a, a great job of our, our, our maintenance crew on our, our field after the, the rain from the last game. They'd really done a nice job of preparing the field. And a uh, great thing about Harmon is it doesn't take much, but uh, just a great job. First play of the game, come out throwing the ball to Zeke there. Nice, just a little short quick game pass and Zeke picks up an extra 10 or 15 yards there on the you know, after the catch. Yeah, you know, this is one of the advantages that we now have with Zeke. Um, a lot of people are respecting him a lot and more than and so you're seeing a, a you know getting a little bit more of a cushion on that bout outside. It's a little zone play, good job by the guys just kind of locking up and staying on their guys and Kelvis makes a nice run there. 
Absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> Good protection, great catch, and a great run after the catch. Wyatt may not be the fastest guy on the team, but I'm telling you, he's got the best hands. There, of, there's no doubt of anybody. There is no doubt at all. He he is definitely. You see a great angle right here, yep. and you can just see his elevation. I mean, he goes up, and uh, and, and he's so diver You know, he's so versatile for us. I mean, he'll play the X, the Z. He can play the Y. Last two weeks he's been playing Y, which is tight end for us. Right. Uh, because of Chase has been dinged up a little bit. And yep. He's done a great job of, of uh, blocking and catching from that position. So once again, he say he comes out. He's doing a very uh, just a nice job of spotting the ball up. Great job of, of uh, Ethan Fromm. Uh, I mean Colton Fromm coming in. Uh, game time decision. He jumped in and, and just a great job there. See our defensive front played just a, a, a great game the other night. Um, Uriel Perez, Warner Bronze, the inside, Jake Myers, Chipper Elrod on the outside. Uh, just a, a fabulous job of those guys. And I'm going to tell you, you, you'll see here in a little while, this is number 75. Uh, he's a man child. Great job of, of David Rockholt filling the hole there. A lot of, you know, Nate gets a lot of attention right there, linebacker, uh, and Edder and Jace. But at the end of the day, David does a great job of knowing his job, which is just being a B2B player uh, and filling up the holes. Good job there, Jake Myers. Jake Myers has really become a force for us. Uh, you know, he's not the most fleet of foot on pass rushing, but when it comes to, to just being an all-down, every-down player, he is. And uh, just a great job of squeezing right here, bouncing off his block. And uh, this little spin move, I think that's that Warner Braun move yep, that that's right. talked about last week. And just a great job of Warner. I'm, I'm really proud of him, uh, the way he stepped up leadership and worked with some of these younger guys on our defensive line. Here comes Tyler Nolan. And number 10 was a f just a really, really phenomenal athlete. He was a good athlete. player, yeah. It's a little slant pass here to Zeke. Good job of G Zeke. It's kind of reaching really out taking, what the, taking what the defense has given us by the way they're playing their, their uh, run defense and their pass coverage. Logan Pender just bullying his way in there. Like to see like to see Logan get going. He's, he's a very physical runner. And just it seems, wow. Good move right there. Just a great play right there. It was about third and two, and it looked like we were going to make it at first, and all of a sudden Zeke spins out of it, and three. That's your second favorite play, in it? <laughs> yeah, three Colonels <laughs> collide. It. Watch them right here. Bam! They take each other out. <laughs> that's, that's great. What a, a good great job play. by Tyler and t Nolan and Tyler Britton down there blocking Absolutely. for him too. So we pick up the first down. Good job of keeping his feet moving. Good protection again. Another good catch by Zeke. I like to see those receivers just reach up and pluck the ball out of the air. Absolutely. That's Peyton's doing a good job of reading the, the coverages mm -hmm. there. Well, counter play, good job, good hard running by Tyler. Tell you what, he's become a really physical physical runner. That 10, 12 pounds, whatever he added oh. during the offseason uh, has, has benefited him very well. Well, you, you said it in that earlier segment. If you look at Chipper, oh. same thing with Tyler. I mean, that's two of the guys that you really think about. Interception there. Luck to finish that drive with some points. No doubt, no doubt. <clears throat> they were really trying to hit us in some soft spots. Great job of Jace Chastain. He brings so much. Oh, he's second second week in a row uh, that he's had ten plus tackles, and uh, he's just a very physical. He's really coming in his own. He's showing up everywhere. I mean, you just see him all over the field. Absolutely, great job of Nate Mays here. Uh, we're we're doing a little bit more of, with him off the edge, letting him be more of an edge player. Uh, great job of rushing to Maddox Houghton, one of our sophomores that's starting. Just a great job right there coming up and anticipating that. Just a really good job. Very, very proud of those guys defensively. They, they've really worked hard to learn the keys and some, some tendencies, and, well, he reads it perfect. He does. That's I think right if he'd he had one more step, he might have yeah. He might have caught it. That's right. Well, <laughs> and yeah, he made yeah. it in the end Absolutely, zone. absolutely. Jordan yeah. McKinney, another solid night out of him as well. Come back on offense, good protection. Good catch and, and a great run by Peter here. Good job of staying on his feet and just battling for some extra yards and protecting the football. Absolutely. I like to see those guys get both hands around him when they get in the traffic. Absolutely. Okay, there's Chris Hicks. Good job pass blocking right there. Good back shoulder throw there by Peyton. And mm -hmm. A lot of people think that's a bad throw. He's doing that on purpose. He sees that defender on top of him. He's going to make that defender have to come through the receiver to get to the ball. Another little zone play. Hayden needs to get out of the way there. He's going to get gets run over by Kelvis. Oh, he ran it with Hayden. Uh, Hayden yeah, they, they ran game. their linebacker out of the out of the play and just, just kind of yeah, we we hit right in the spot where he vacated. 
Draw. Good job getting downfield, guys blocking, receivers blocking. Good hard run by Kelvin. That's, That's right. Almost into the band. Takes you to that defensive back. This is we the... practice this. We put this in this week. <laughs> That's, a... That's the. That goes down as maybe the ugliest play of the year. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's my initial candidate right there. Absolutely. It, well, it, it goes, still it counts for a touchdown. Absolutely. Well, it goes to show you also, Point. just being if you're going full speed, even when something's done wrong, it's gonna it's gonna it probably it's gonna be it wind up being good yeah. if you just do it full speed. And Zeke ran a good route. Uh, great job by Peter of of trying to extend to make the catch, but you know at the same time. I think it was meant to go over his head, right. <laughs> but that's okay. Like I said, good job right here of uh, of, of uh, our coverage team. Austin Mills, Colton Fromm once again, Tucker Sumner, uh, two of those guys, sophomores, uh, and Matthew Howe, three of those guys. So there you go right there. Good thing. Good job right there. Just got a break down by Jake. Put a good pop by, by Jason Nate right there. Yep. He, he, that was a – the quarterback right was feeling here. it by the end of the game. You he he won't want to run it. In no, he had taken some. He took some real hits. By the fourth quarter, you, it was really taking its toll on him. You could just watch his body language. Coming back offensively, here's uh, Nate coming in and getting a little bit of offensive work. Starting to want to get these guys a few plays every game, and and Nate and Jace each got a got a carry. Try to a uh, hook and lateral there, and it ended up being. Uh, a forward, and, and you can see it was. I mean, it was. It wasn't much, but it was definitely. It was yeah, definitely it, it was. Illegal it forward was, pass. No doubt. No doubt. Come back, quarterback draw. That got us in a real hole. This is a nice job of Peyton, just clearing out, getting us a little room. Uh, try to get Edder to flip the field position. Absolutely. So defense gets it back. They had a nice punt return on us, and just a great job. How many times do you see Jordan McKinney make that tackle? They try to run a quick screen, and he sniffs it out, and he's just right there, right there on them. And you'll see it right here. He starts back up. He reads that quick screen and boom, there he comes. Of course, Edder's right there at, at, the, at the, the play. Just a great job. You can tell the coach is a little bit upset. Uh, <laughs> Good form tackle. So come back and, and, you know, Charlie Martin, can't say enough about Charlie. Um, and, and you'll see right here, you see Jordan do it, but they've done such a good job of cutting those guys off on deep balls, and you'll see here later on, Charlie, they push him a couple times. So good, so good half of football. Go in the half, 14 nothing, and we'll take a quick break and be back with a second half highlights in just a minute. Looking for something the whole family can watch? Check out OptiLink's new channels. Mav TV is a great place for motorsports and hit movies. Antenna TV is TV the way it used to be with your favorite old shows. Catch today's funniest comedians on comedy TV. And there's Glenn Beck's new network, The Blaze. For hit movies and shows in HD, try Universal and FXX. For uplifting programming, there's Up TV or Aspire, Magic Johnson's new network. For more details, go to OptiLink.us. Have you ever heard the term, your eyes are your expressions, the windows to your soul? But when your eyelids look tired and they start to sag, it will make you look much older than you actually are. There is a simple surgical procedure called a blepharoplasty or eyelid tuck, which can help to rejuvenate and redefine the contours around your eyelids. It will even improve your fields of vision and a portion may even be covered by insurance. We can help redefine how others see you. Coach went in at halftime and, and uh, got some water and Gatorade, made a few little marks on the – drew on the board a little bit and That's came right. back to play the second half of football. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Even when you're doing things good, there's still a few adjustments you need to, to, to make, and I think that was the thing that we needed to do. Great job. Jamel Darville has really come along for us, and uh, he's got a lot more playing reps. Good job there of Uriel Perez. We see as we move Chipper inside on that, and uh, great job of, of Jordan McKinney. Come back on offense. Good job of Peyton and just moving his feet and finding the open guy and Zeke uh, 
running with the ball. Yeah, needs to tuck that thing away though. Doesn't that's he? right. Get yeah. on him about that. Yeah, absolutely. Doing a good job though here, just reaching out, yep. trying to be sure that he gets what he can. Good job of directing somewhat traffic right there. I think Peter had already committed to his block, right. you know, hard to turn around, but just a great job. He's taking possession of uh, ownership of what he's doing, and that's just a great job. Here you see the back coming through, knocks the ball out. Yeah, um, our young fullback there just. That's the reason why we do all those mesh drills. Yep. I mean, we're going to do them every day. That's one of those fundamental things that um, it happens. And you got great hit right there by Travis Nielsen. Travis has really become a. Good to have him back hitter. in the lineup. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, he's, he's, when you think about his style of play, beginning this year, it was just like, you know, Travis is a guy that knows what to do. He played quarterback the last couple of years, so it's, you know, we want to, it's good to have somebody. But he's really become a hitter for us back there, and that's exciting to see. A little swing pass here to Kelvis. Just Kelvis being Kelvis. Yeah. I mean, just a great job of weaving his way through traffic. He's not the fastest guy in the world, but he just, he's such a, his change of direction is what makes him such a great running back. Look at him there. He puts well, his foot in the ground. He's going north and south. And how many times have we talked about that yeah. at practice? That's the thing I like about Kelvis. This is a three-year starter, but he has really – he takes coaching, and that's one thing we've talked about him. Enough dancing. Get upfield. When it's time to get upfield, get upfield. It's our uh, tunnel screen that we've – I about to worked say, did you call this, it. Coach? No, I did not call I this. I think you called this. We, we have worked on this, and it hadn't been a very good play for us in practice. Well, we games, still really but, don't execute it, right? But, <laughs> but at least it worked. <laughs> we can at least – the average yards per throw just went up uh, with that Significantly. Right there. Significantly. So, uh, and so we do have a touchdown we can put on the mark. Yep. Great job, though, of, of, of Zeke getting the ball up the field and a great job of our, of our guys getting down the field blocking. Uh, that, that's, that's an effort play as much as anything, and that's one of the reasons why we keep it. Look at that, though. What a fabulous – I mean, yep. I tell you, Esai, we, we kind of said, talked about it earlier. Uh, we're going to have to change the shoes. But outside I of that – I like those fluorescent and orange shoes. Uh, well, I know those are yours. You let him borrow those prior to the season, didn't you? There's Jace putting some good heat on the quarterback. Absolutely. You know, that's the one advantage this, this group has is we have so much speed that comes off the corner. And, of course, it's relative. It's speed for us. You know, there'll be teams, you know, Jones County <laughs> – Right. It's Creekside, you know, it may not be speed for them, but it is for us. One, uh, once again, a great job. I was, I was very surprised at how much they picked on, I guess that's the phrase to use, they, mm -hmm. they kind of picked on uh, Jordan. Uh, we knew they were right-handed, they were a right-handed team, but I really felt like they would come out, and, and that's the reason why we put Jordan into our uh, left side, was to try to force them to go back, and they wouldn't. They stayed with being right-handed. Come back with a little stretch play and just – Good job by everybody blocking. You see guys at the second level getting their hands on them, and Tyler just finds the crease and, and goes. But watch the guys. There's Chris Hicks staying on his block. Look right there, Evan yep. Stewart. I mean, just really running. Logan Pender gets a uh, block downfield, and Tyler takes advantage of all those and just pops it right in the end zone. And, you know, that's a, that's a fatigue yeah. touchdown as much as anything. Those guys have been on the field. Y'all had done a great job offensively uh, of just keeping the pressure on those guys the whole time. So right where we want to be, 28 nothing. Not, not 30. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. You, you, the, the, the old running clock yep. happens at 30. That's right. Good job right there. You see 98, Nick Faulkner, another guy. Maddox Houghton making an outstanding play there. He had two of those pass breakups the other night. Once again, good job right there, Jake Myers. You're starting to see the quarterback. He's not going up in there with such, no. quite the enthusiasm he Absolutely. had early in the game. Absolutely. And, boy, Edder just pops that back right there. Those two guys right there, I mean, that's, that's, that's two of the four or five pieces on this team that, that are, are a real uh, That's how you set amenity. the corner. Yeah, exactly. That is I mean, exactly. That is that's how you set the corner. That's, 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 that's clinic stuff right there. Yep. I mean, you come in and pop that guy's head back. Good job of Jake Myers getting pressure. And, man, Edder, he was so upset after the game, he didn't get that, that interception right there. Uh, and because he, he's got a lot of those. Good job of Jace once again pressuring. And, of course, Maddox getting over there and covering over the top. Just a really, really good job. So they coming punt and get the, us deep. Coming off the goal line, give, give, give uh, Edder give a him little a work at fullback. That's right. <laughs> Here's Kelvis spinning out of a tackle, making a couple guys miss. He does such a good job of making something out of nothing. He really I mean, does. Just, just, just really. There's Logan banging in there. Logan, he's not looking to avoid contact when he's running. No, the line. he's, and, he's and, looking for somebody to run and over. And that's the great thing about I like Logan. His, I like I his mean, attitude. Absolutely. Watch I mean, him right know, here. He sees this guy. 
bam. He's looking for a safety. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a safety. Great job, though, of this. this uh, I was probably more proud of this drive than really anything because we were able to really spread the ball around. This is Kyrie McGowan. I know you like the way he's carrying that ball. I do. I love the way he's carrying that ball. I mean, he had a uh, in the Scottsboro game a couple of fumbles, and that sucker. I don't think really... he's even come close to fumbling it since then. <laughs> he, he, no. he is not going to let that happen. Good job Absolutely. by the guys executing the reverse here. And Good job of Caden Stokes there. Yep. Good block there. Kyrie trying to stutter step that guy, make him miss. Did you work on that in group? Again? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're down to the 20 yard line. Good job, Good Peter. Good by Peter. We really worked our slants the other night. We, the guys had worked really hard all week on that. And here's Kelvis being yeah. Kelvis, but our line of scrimmage. I love this right here. Zeke and Andrew and Hayden. Uh, Hayden. That's Daniel. a great thing about yeah. Caden football. Stokes in there. Got some guys that got their first. They get their first carry there. Varsity experience. <laughs> Tyler just picking and weaving his way through the defense. Absolutely. So that Great a, job. That man. was a good drive. Absolutely. Great job. Great job. Jake Thomas. Jake in Thomas, there. Yeah. 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 Good job of Jake. I think we played eight offensive linemen and, a, and three tight ends Friday night, so it's good for those guys to get that work. Had eight different guys touch the ball mm -hmm. on offense. That's always a good thing. Always a good thing. So 35 to nothing. Come back and put our defense back out there. And, of course, Edder comes in and forces a great, just a, a great play, right and forces him back inside. And then Tucker is there to just belt him. Boom. That Big Max job. in there. Yeah, that's right. Max Maynard, that's right. Uh, and uh, Nick Faulkner, number 98. Great job right here of flushing it outside. Matthew Howell and Michael Alexander coming up. So just an overall, a good victory for our team tonight. Very good victory. like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. Get one-on-one -on -one training from former professional and collegiate players featuring indoor baseball and softball training facilities, ground ball area, three pitching mounds, and four batting cages. Performance Sports Academy is also available for team rentals. Call 706-537-3169 today and train like a pro at Performance Sports Academy. You got this. You're almost there. Just one more good try. Hey, you got this, baby. You can do this. I choose that one. Excellent choice. You're going to love the new addition to your home, and it weighs 55 ounces. I love it so much. It's perfect. It's beautiful. When adding a new addition to your home, come to Carpet Express and let us deliver you from the pains of choosing your flooring. Ah! Welcome back to Catamount Football, and Coach, let's talk a little bit about the upcoming game this week with Sequoia. Uh, we know them, got to know them a little bit too well. Intimately. <laughs> yeah, a few, <laughs> a few years ago. Yep. Um, they, they certainly have a fine program, and, and it looks like we haven't played them in several years, but just watching them on film, just a little bit that I've watched so far, um, they've, they've got some good athletes. Well, they're, to me, they're, they're, they're really our Gilmer. Of, of this region. I mean, that's kind of the way I've pitched it to the kids. We've talked about it as a staff. This is a team that's going to have two or three or four really good athletes. But their MO is to basically say, we're tougher than you. Yeah. And, you know, that's been one of the consistent things going back to when, they, when we were in their region the last time. They're just going to line up and punch you in the mouth. That's, that's kind of what they want to do. Uh, they're also a team that's very disciplined. They're not going to beat themselves. Uh, they stay within what they can do. They pose a few problems because they do a couple of things defensively that uh, is unique, even though they're very similar to us. Uh, offensively, uh, they're, they're a, a wing gun, so we can kind of go back a couple of weeks ago and even to this, to cast a little bit. Uh, but, but they're very traditional wing. They're just trying to do a lot of it off the line of scrimmage. So um, that'll be a little different for us, too, instead of people running all over the place and trying to cover 53 yards. I mean, you pretty much keep them inside about 25 yards. That's what they want to do. They want to put you in a box and, uh, you know, get like a boxing match. Right, right. Defensively, four-man front uh, with a couple of good-looking defensive linemen, and it, it's, it's certainly uh, going to be a test, I think, for our offensive mm -hmm. line to, to match up with these guys this week. Well, and special team-wise, I think this may be the best team special team-wise we've played. They've got a very solid punter. He's averaging about 41 yards a punt. 
They're going to kick it off just inside the five. Uh, and and uh, very, very good coverage team. So, I mean, they get down the field. And, you know, the, the challenge for us will be we, we average somewhere between 35 to 70. Uh, that's kind of a wide range because we don't have many kicks we get. Mm -hmm. uh, return yards. And that's, that's a lot of return yards. Uh, we're going to fight for those this week because we're very, very good at coverages. Right, very good. Let's take a, with that, we'll take a quick break and be back with more Catamount Football Show in just a minute. I can't believe it's football time again here in Northwest Georgia. The Oakwood Cafe and my family are big fans of football, much like most of our customers. But this year, instead of just rooting for our teams, we are also rooting for your team. So bring your ticket stub out to the Oakwood Cafe on Saturday night and you will receive a discount based on your team's margin of victory. If your team wins by 50 points, you will receive 50% off. So good luck and come on out to the Oakwood Cafe on Saturday night. Go, Go Big Red! Red. Go Honesty, integrity, and hard work, leadership, quality, and value. Just a few words to describe the company and people that make up Shaw Industries. Shaw Industries, the world's leading carpet manufacturer, is proud to be a sponsor of Dalton Catamount Football. Shaw Industries, where great floors begin. The health of our region depends on the health of its people. That is why Hamilton is here. We're opening more physician practices and urgent care centers near you, offering medical care that fits your schedule. We're reaching out to the community and helping to train the next generation of health professionals and giving you new ways to search for doctors and health information from wherever you are. We're here for you. Hamilton Medical Center, your health is our mission. Well, Coach Land, we've come to the end of another show. Hard to believe that we're four weeks into the season, halfway. getting ready up to the halfway point this week with the game at Sequoia. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about the folks, uh, like we always do, thanks, thank the folks that make Friday nights possible. Well, I, you know, our, our quarterback club, as always, does just an outstanding job. And, and you know, our, our, it's so special to, to walk out on the field and, you know, the boys are in here kind of getting ready for that. And, uh, for the game, the, the fans are out in the stands. The, the band is, is kind of lining up on the field. The dads are lined up right there, you know, bringing us in. And then mm -hmm. all the kids are playing. It's just, you know, the Harmon Field is one of the greatest environments. And I know all stadiums have their traditions, but we get so many compliments on right. our stadium and, and on, on the, the way our game day is run. And I just I appreciate Jeff McKinney and, and uh, Michael Leonard and, and Jerry Scott. Uh, and, 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 and so many of the dads that come over here and literally take Fridays off. I mean, they're over here, I mean, you come by at 10 o'clock and they're here doing something. Right. Uh, I really appreciate them. And, and, and uh, we, we recognized our middle school this week. Um, it's our largest school in our system. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will tell you, they do such a fabulous job. I've had my, my second child is, is, is there right now and uh, have two more on the way that's gonna be coming through there. And uh, it's just something to see how they take that many kids and make such a small, intimate environment out of it with all the you know, the way they do the halls. And uh, it, it's just great. And I, my compliments to, to Brian Suits and, and his staff of assistant principals. They just do a, a, a fabulous job there. And then athletically speaking, uh, Lisa, your wife, is one of our uh, assistant basketball coaches. Um, the sports programs there are, are I mean, really, they're, they're some of the best. And, and it's indicative by really nobody around here willing to play us, you know. That, so we're, right. we're forced to go out and find games. and. Um, the, the way that they go about uh, finding some great games for us has helped our kids because the level of competition that they're getting to play is, is really great because mm -hmm. we play a few freshman teams that, that sprinkle their kids down. So it is really, really great. But more than that, to see John Patrick, our, one of our assistant football coaches, who's our, our, our head eighth grade coach, uh, our head middle school coach, Adam Martinez, the athletic director, what they've created in this intramural environment is really special. 
-hmm. and, and for us, I mean, I know we talk about it a lot, to look out there and see 90 plus kids that are getting to play, that are getting developed, that are not sitting over there behind the best 17 or the best 18 kids that are playing, we're going to reap the benefit. Don't have football is going to reap the benefit, and really don't have athletics is going to reap the benefits of that three, four, five years down the road. Uh, and so I just really appreciate how hard they've worked to not only have the games, but to also have this intramural environment where they've been able to develop. And I really encourage anybody that, that's, that's looking uh, to really go to our middle school because it is really just an outstanding facility, first of all, outstanding staff from teachers into our coaches, and then just our programs that are offered. Uh, it's, it's second to none. So our middle school, really appreciate all you guys do and uh, look forward to uh, seeing those guys get here, but also looking forward to a new generation coming in uh, and, and being under their care. Absolutely. It was neat to see those guys get recognized Friday night, lining up on the field. And Is that not awesome? Their names called out. Yeah, they, I know they get a kick out of that, and certainly they do. Uh, it's fun to, fun to see those guys get that opportunity. Well, you, you, and you wish you had the time to recognize all the sports. You know, we'd love right. to recognize basketball and soccer and baseball and softball and volleyball. And, and you know, they, they have the, the full cornucopia of, of, of sports. It's not like a lot of schools that are limited to three or four major sports, they have everything right. there. So if you've got a child that's interested in a sport, great place to be is Dalton Middle School. Absolutely, absolutely. Certainly also we need to thank our fans. They turned out, I thought we had a great turnout last week. Absolutely. For, not only for that game, but for the North Again game previously. Now we're going on the road. Yeah. Um, not that far of a drive, right? No, it's, it's really not. In fact, uh, if, if you're a, in any way a barbecue lover, <laughs> Uh, there, we, we can give you multiple reasons. I just found another barbecue place this week that's down in Cherokee County. So we'll invite. No, it's, it's not that far. It's right down the road, uh, right off of 20. And, uh, you know, it's a, a, it's a great drive. Beyond that, it's a great environment. If you remember back when mm -hmm. we played there, um, there's a few people that probably don't have very fond memories there. <laughs> but, but some of us, it's a great environment. Yeah. They've got a great stadium. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a neat place to play. A lot of tradition there. Sequoia's always been a good football program. And they so. don't have the PA announcer. That, no, the that, PA <laughs> announcer. He, he, he actually <laughs> lost his job later on that season that yeah, year he did. for yeah. some comments he made, yeah. I think, against somebody else in our region. And <laughs> so, so we won't have to put up with that guy. Yeah, don't have to put up with that. So I want to invite people to come yeah. out. Uh, just a great environment and look forward to seeing everybody there Friday. I know we'll have, we know one of the great things about our, when I went down to our region meeting, one of the things that all the coaches talked about was the fact that at least Dalton would bring a good gate. Meaning that, you know, everybody knows that when a lot of those teams down there travel, they don't bring anybody as evidenced, you know, the other night when North Atlanta came. But, you know, our fans, you do a great job. The fans that travel, not just parents. We have so many people that travel right. that call me and need directions or they'll go online or whatever. If I just really want to just tell them how much we appreciate them coming and look forward to seeing them this Friday night. Absolutely. We want to have a big turnout. And with that, let's close up the show like we always do. So we'll be back next week. Same cat time, same cat channel. Go be great.